by the end of this video, hopefully I would have fixed this. I say fix it, but it does work. It's just that PIR sensor. You see, at the moment, it's slightly angled that way, and that sensor points too far over there. And we really need it for just going up and down the stairs. That's why it's on at the moment, because the wind's blowing these branches. So I've bought this cheap sensor off eBay or Amazon, one of the two. This one is directional. So we're going to try and change it out and that way I can face it down the stairs. But it is absolutely freezing outside, so I'm going to try and change it inside, but I need to get this off first. I've put in a few switches, so we'll turn it off. So all of my outside lights, I had to submit a lighting design for my, on my planning application. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. So yeah, I can't have it any different. On the stairs, you can see there's Christmas lights there. Uh, even that is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's illegal. It's not illegal, but we're not meant to have them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match this, really. So I need an earthing block. So I need to uh, connect up my earths with a, a way go. My live is going to come in there. I oh, know that says earth. It's fucking stupid, that is. Right, and now on my sensor. Right. Let's get rid of this. I'm just confusing myself. This sensor here, all I need to do is take, replace that. I've got a blue there, a life there, and then the switch there. So that's all them three wires. So I just need to swap them three wires over, don't I? Yep. Let's just do that. Obviously I am a DIYer, I'm not a trained professional or anything, but you can use logic to work these things out. Obviously I was struggling a little bit at first trying to get my head around it. Once I realised that all I really need to do was just, I need to, need to replace the sensor. So it's just three wires off the sensor. They've got the same three wires. Just take them out of here. It's a good job I've got a load of spanners there, eh? Right? <laughs> Who noticed I was doing it up then? Who knows? <laughs> right, so the sensor comes out quite easy. So we just need to undo a few screws. That one for the neutral. I think we'll just do that up again. Just in case. How am I going to mount this on? So I'm going to put them wires through there. Okay, because I'm going to connect it up in this body rather than in this body. And then right, I need to mount that on there. Okay. Shit. I'm going to take all these bits off. Solid. Nice, nice. Put this cup on. So it looks like it was always meant to be there. God, that got dark quick, didn't it? Right, X. That one needs to go in there. If you do do this, and you don't get an electrician to do it, once you do your wires, just give them a tug. Just to make sure they're in properly. And then we need that neutral in with this neutral. I just need to put the live earth and neutral in this block now up there, screw it up. And then on this one as well, I've got brightness and a timer 
and the sensitivity as well so it senses up to 12 meters so that would be good for the stairs the other one i had on here i didn't have any of that i just need to get that nut that i dropped <gasps> shit that was light it fell off the ladder that was lucky eh? it's not glass and it was also lucky that this fell down here because i would have never found it if it fell all the way down So now, it turns on straight away. It turns on just off the handle. And now I don't have to go like this and like lean over and go, oh, turn on, please. All good. And look, as soon as I come around this corner, it will turn on now. Yeah. 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 I do need to have this on a short timer and it needs to be this color for the bats otherwise if it's on for like longer than 30 seconds or something the uh the bats will just drop out of the sky i think thanks for watching give us a thumbs up see you later